Louis Rivera rented the Prius on the July trip, yes? Correct. According to Louis Rivera, it was his gun that was used on the homicide, yes? Yes. The only hotel reservation you have for that trip uh, was a room rented by Louis Rivera, correct? One of the rooms. Correct. And then you have one rented by Shadrach Nobles, right? Correct. A uh, yes. gentleman that purportedly lives in his own car, right? Correct. Someone that picks up drugs for other people, correct? Yes. And you don't know, did you do a search to see how many other nights Shadrach Nobles got rented a motel in Tallahassee? Not, I did not personally. Right, you just went to that one night, right? That one night that he said, and you found that he stayed in a certain motel, right? Correct. Did, did Luis Rivera... Did he mention pulling out a firearm on four people inside of a hotel? Sustained that yeah. earlier. Sustained objection. That was saying, hey, "Please don't try to go around my rulings, please." I, I didn't need to, well, Judge. Thank you. Let's talk about what you get. You get a reduced charge, right? Yes, sir. It went from first degree murder down to second degree murder. Yes, sir. You qualify as a habitual felony offender, and that was waived, right? Yes, sir. The death penalty was waived. Yes, sir. Other charges were waived, like conspiracy to commit murder, right? Yes, sir. Solicitation to commit murder. Yes, sir. Possession of a firearm by a convicted felon. Yes, sir. You possessed firearms in this case, and they gave you a pass on those charges as well, too. Yes, sir. Are you aware that in the state of Florida, there's a minimum mandatory penalty for a convicted felon possessing a gun? Yes, I do. They also gave you a pass on an aggravated assault with a firearm. Yes, sir. You told them a story about how a guy, Shadrick Nobles, the guy that you bought drugs from and the guy that helped you with the Prius, that he and a bunch of his friends came into the hotel room and that you pulled two guns on him and told him to strip, right? Yes, sir. So you're gonna pass on that as well too. Yes, sir. How much or how much cocaine was purchased? Hell, I have forty. I think. Forty dollars worth. Yeah, about forty. Okay. And when you came back with the cocaine, were you invited into the motel room? Yes. By who? Him, the um, person. All right. The defendant that you previously yeah. identified. Yeah. All right. And was there anybody else inside the motel room when you went in there? Yes. Who else was in there? His partner. Who? His homeboy, his partner. His homeboy? Uh, yeah. <coughs> Over room. And was that the person that was in the yeah. photograph that I showed you, States 46? Yes. The shorter gentleman? Yes. Okay. What was he doing inside the hotel room? I'm laying around. Okay. Laying on the bed? Yeah. Okay. What did y'all do inside the motel room that night? Did what he sent me out to get. Did what he sent you out to get? Yeah. So did you use cocaine with? No, I didn't do much. I had a little drink. I took a little drink. You had a drink? Yeah, I went on the cocaine thing. All right. And did you see anybody using cocaine in the room? Yeah. Who? The guy that sent me to get it. The guy that. I think they wanted her to come get the car. I think there was something wrong with the car. Something there was like something that. wrong with the car? Yeah. Okay. And you had two interactions with these guys about a month apart, is that right? Yes. And the time that there was something wrong with the car, was that the first time or the second time or both? It was both times. Both times they had car trouble? Yeah. All right. So the first time that they had car trouble, is that when you overheard this conversation in the motel room? Yes, ma'am. All right. And what were they saying about about the car? It wasn't nothing. I just heard that uh, she didn't come get the car, basically. And I, it was back okay. Down, and, uh, Do you remember their exact words? No. Did they seem like angry about it? Like she can come get the car if she wants to get the car? No, I'm not. No. Can't say that? Yeah. Okay. Did they identify who the woman was that they wanted to come get the car? No. All right. Did they tell you what the car trouble was? No. All right. I want to fast forward you to about a month later. Did you see these men again? Yes. And what were the circumstances of you running into them the second time? I heard them on the side of the road, flagging me down, saying they needed help. Can you take them to get a part for the car? All right. They were on the side of the road? Yeah. Road what down. road? Uh, Monroe. Monroe Street? South Monroe, yeah. Okay. 
And they flagged you down. Which one or both? The taller one. Taller guy. And was the taller guy with the same shorter gentleman yeah. that you've seen before? Yeah. Was anybody else with them either time? No. Nope. All right. And what was the purpose of them flagging you down on this second occasion? I don't get, get the car off the road. I need, need the help with the car. What was wrong with the car? I'm not sure. Okay. But it was, wouldn't run? It wasn't moving. All right. Did you take them or one of them to the auto parts store? Yes. What auto parts store was that? That was the Advanced Autos on South Road. All right. And did you go inside the Advanced Auto? No. No. Do you know what was purchased in the Advanced Auto? They got a hose for the car. A hose for the car? Yeah. Small Do you hose. know which one of the gentlemen purchased the hose? Oh, um, because both of them. Both, both of them? Yeah. Okay, so you took both of them to the auto parts store? Yeah. Yes. All right, and you didn't go in to see which one actually paid the money for the hose? No, ma'am. All right. Did you take them back to their car on the side of Monroe Street? Yes. And did you hang around while they worked on the car? Yes. All right, who was doing the work on the car? I think it was the, I think it was the taller one. You think it was the taller one? Yeah. Did they ask you to do anything else for them after you helped yeah, them with the car? Yes. What was that? Um, grabbed them a room. All right. And did you register for a motel room for them that night? Yes. And you did that in your name? Yes. And where was that? The roadway on North Monroe. Okay. What kind of car did they have when you checked them into the roadway on North Monroe? It's a um, small station wagon car, great station wagon, I don't know. It's like, I'm not sure what it was. Okay. But it was small? It's like a little station wagon looking car. Okay, do you know the make and model of that vehicle? No. Alright, have you previously seen a photograph of a vehicle that you yeah. indicated was similar? Yeah. I'm going to approach and show you what I've marked as States Exhibit 4. States for? Yeah. How do you recognize it? That vehicle. That um that was actually parked outside the room and the one that was outside the road that he That's is that consistent That's with it. the vehicle? Something like that right there. Judge, I'm gonna object to it. It appears that the prosecution suggested similarity between what you saw in the picture and how it was done. Is the vehicle pictured in States Exhibit 4 consistent with the vehicle you saw these two gentlemen driving? Yes. Alright, I'm gonna ask you to initial that photograph anywhere. Okay. <coughs> May I tell which state's for? Is this the part of the evidence? May I tell them? Yes. Did you have any contact with them in the motel room that night at the roadway? No, ma'am. Did they give you any money for assisting them with the car? Yes. yes. How much? I can't recall. Probably can't recall? About $60 or something. Say it again? About $60. $60? Probably something like that, yeah. Did they tell you why they did not want to register for the motel room in their own name? No. And you didn't ask? No. When you left the motel that night after getting the room for them, did you take a photograph of their vehicle? I took a photograph of the tag. Why'd you do that? I wasn't too sure about what the hell was going on. I wanted to cover my... Because you know, the room was in your name? Yeah, you? I wanted to yeah, okay. cover myself. And the picture that you took of the tag of the vehicle, 
do you still have that? No, the phone is long gone. All right, by the time law enforcement located you and interviewed you, was that photograph gone? Yes, ma'am. Were you shown photographic lineups in this case? Yes. I'm going to approach with what I've marked as state's exhibits 85 and 86. State's exhibit 86 indicates it's a photographic lineup of Sigfredo Garcia. Were you able to pick Anybody out of the photos that were shown to you in this case? Yeah. Is that your signature there on the front page? Yeah. All right, and this indicates you selected photograph two. There's photograph two. Is that the photo you selected? Yeah. All right, and that was one of the people that you interacted with? Yeah. Both trips? Yep. State's Exhibit 85, showing you uh, the first page of that exhibit. Is that your signature there in State's yeah. 85? Yeah. Okay, and this one indicates it's a photographic lineup of Luis Rivera. Did you select photograph number three? Uh-huh. Is that the photograph you selected? Yeah. Number three? Mr. Nobles, this is a document which purports to be a record certif certified and authentic from the Roadway Inn at 2702 North Monroe Street in Tallahassee, Florida. Is that where you got them a room that night? Yes. Okay, and I want to draw your attention to uh, the guest list here. It indicates down here on the list, Shadrick Nobles, yes. July 17th. The end is cut off there, but July 17th. Oh, here it is. To July 18th, 2014. Is that correct? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Judge, at this time, I'd ask to move into evidence State's Exhibit 84. Any objection? I'd like to review that. Overruled. McBain won't have any objection. No All right, it'll be admitted. Mr. Nobles, good afternoon. good afternoon. Do you know exactly what day in June that the government was referring to that you first uh, claimed that you had contact with my client? Do I what now? Do you remember the day in June? Shit, man, I don't know. Well, whatever day it was, your testimony was that you were hanging out in the parking lot of the motel, correct? No, I wasn't hanging out. I'm coming through, driving through. I'm sorry? Driving through when I was flagged down by your... You're driving through by a hotel, and 
Was it daytime or nighttime? Night. I'm sorry? Night. Was it dark outside? Yep. And so someone from a motel randomly picks your car and flags you down? That's your testimony, correct? Uh, randomly picked me, I guess so. That's what I'm happened. I'm sorry, sir. I, I can't That's remember. what happened. I was flagged down. Okay, so yeah. you were flagged down. Uh -huh. uh, had you ever had any uh, previous ex uh, exposure or experience with my client? Nope. And so he randomly flags you down and asks to buy cocaine, correct? Yeah. And you were more than happy to oblige, correct? All right. Okay. So you have, did you have cocaine on you? No. Okay. So did you have to go to your stash house to get it? Uh, what stash house? I'm sorry? What stash house? Well, <laughs> if you didn't have the cocaine on you, was it I know where to get it from. You know where to get it from? Yeah. So you then went and retrieved cocaine and came back to the motel? Yeah. Were you alone? No. You were with other people, correct? I was with a girl. You were with just a girl? Yeah. Not a girl and two other guys? No. So it was just you and a girl? Yeah. Was her name Leticia? Leticia. Leticia? Leticia. What's her last name? Vereen. 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 And you entered the motel room, correct? Yeah. And was there another gentleman in the motel room? Yeah. Can you describe that gentleman? So it's stocky. Believe it. That gentleman right there? Believe it. Would you have did did you describe him as villainy? Villainy. Like like he looked like a villain? Objection. I don't know what you're talking about. That's him right there. Have you ever described him as villainy? That's him right there. Wait a minute, stop. When there's an objection, stop killing yeah. the answer. I've sustained the objection. Was he armed? Yeah. And by armed, I mean, did he have a gun? It was a gun laying on the dresser. And did he leave it laying on the dresser when you walked uh, in? When I came in, he got to pick it up. Okay. And what did he do when you picked it up? He picked it up and had put it on. Laying. I'm sorry? It's like basically picked it up. He picked it up. Yeah. I would pick it up too. At any point, did you see my client with a gun that night? No. <coughs> Would you describe that gentleman as being aggressive? Yeah. And by that gentleman, I mean Louis Rivera, the gentleman in the picture. The guy right there with the gold as well, yeah. At any point during that evening, did they mention to you that they were there for a homicide? Well, why would they do that? Why would they flag down a random stranger to buy cocaine? I, I'm that's, asking the question. That's a good question. <laughs> now, You claim that you've never met either my client or the gentleman in that picture before, correct? No. That gentleman in the picture, his name is Louis Rivera. Are you aware of that? Uh, thanks for telling me. So no one had ever told you that before, sir? That's his name, right? Was he your source of supply of drugs from Miami? Oh, what the fuck is he? I'm sorry? What the hell are you Was talking he? about? <laughs> well... You, you're a drug dealer, right? Hell no. No. Well, what did you do that night? Uh, did, did, did you go and deliver drugs to Mr. Garcia, according to your statement? I went and got him drugs for him. I'm sorry? I went and got drugs for him. Okay. So was Mr. Rivera the plug for the person that supplies you your drugs? No. Nope. That's crazy. You claim that... You saw them again a month later, correct? Yeah. And this time it was by happenstance that once again they just ran by, ran into you on the road in Tallahassee, correct? Yeah. yeah, that was crazy. A coincidence, right? Yeah. Strange. And the government showed a document.
reservation list for motels here in Tallahassee, correct? Yeah. And it's your testimony that you reserve this room for, in essence, for strangers, correct? Yeah. You didn't reserve the room to conduct another drug transaction? No. Yeah. No? Uh-uh. Where do you live? Or, I'm sorry, let me rephrase the question. Where did you live at the time of, uh, 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 let me finish the question, I'm sorry. Where did you live on July 14th, 2014? In my vehicle. You lived in your vehicle? Yeah. And you'd agree with me that conducting a substantial, and this is a general question, but would you agree with me that conducting a substantial drug transaction in an open air vehicle would be a stupid, stupid decision? I didn't believe it. And you also indicated that you took a photograph of the tag of the car, but that photograph's no longer anywhere to be found, right? Uh, nope. Did anyone go with you to rent the room for this yeah. hotel other than yourself? Yeah. yeah, same girl. Same girl. Leticia Vernon? Leticia Vereen. Vereen. Give me a second. Now, you understand that there's a difference between powder cocaine and crack cocaine, correct? Believe it. And to convert powder cocaine to crack cocaine, you got to have to cook it, correct? Yeah, I guess. You've never witnessed or observed powder cocaine being cooked to crack cocaine? No. Have you? Did you, you didn't contact law enforcement after, I mean, you heard about the Dan Markell murder the day, the day it occurred? I didn't know anything about that. And you approached law enforcement in this case, correct? No. They called you, right? They came and got me. They came and got you because there was phone records on a phone that you used, correct? All right. That showed yeah. that there was communication between you and Luis Rivera, correct? All right. Do you have multiple phones? Did you have multiple phones at that time or just one? Oh, shh, man. So well, man. Let, me re let me rephrase the question, sir. Have you ever had a throw phone, a drop phone, a burner? Uh, you got me. What is that? Okay, a, a, a <laughs> phone, like an additional phone. You know how some people have multiple phones? Yeah, I guess. Have you ever had multiple phones? Yeah, I got a couple phones. Okay. Did you give the phone numbers of the other phones to law enforcement? Why would I do that? On the June 4th trip, did Mr. Rivera threaten you with a firearm? Oh, no. When you went to speak did, to law enforcement, did you answer the question? Sure. Yes, sir. Yes or no? Oh, no. He said no. no. Thank no. you. I couldn't hear you. When you went to talk to law enforcement with regards to this, did you tell them that you sold, or your testimony is that you provided powder cocaine? Okay, say that again. Sure, buddy. no problem. <laughs> so the cops call you, right? They ain't called me, they came and got me. They came and knocked on your door. No, they ain't. They pulled up on me. They pulled up on you. Yeah. Were you still living in your car? Yeah. Okay. So they pulled up on you and they said, we need to talk to you downtown? Yeah. Okay. Was it 
like that or a little yeah. bit? Yeah. Okay. So they take you downtown, right? Yeah. Do they read you your Miranda rights? No. Okay. And when they start asking you these questions, do you tell them that you sold powder cocaine? Okay. Why would I do that? It's crazy. Well, you said it today, right? Oh, yeah. But shit, I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't just volunteer that kind of information. Like that. Yeah. And and you'll agree with me, Mr. Nobles, mm-hmm. that you came here under a state subpoena, correct? Mm-hmm. Correct? You have yeah. to say yes because the young lady. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you have some sort of immunity from being able to give a confession because that's what you've done. You've confessed to the members of this jury that you were involved in a drug deal, correct? Yeah. Okay, and you know that these prosecutors, and no one from Leon County or no law enforcement officer will ever prosecute you for committing a second degree felony based on federal uh, yeah, you're Florida statute. trying to paint that picture like I'm a drug dealer, buddy. It's not that. You can't paint a picture like that. Okay, b- okay, but by you're your own. You're trying to paint that picture, though. Well, that's I, not I, me. Sir, I'm not I, one of those guys. Sorry. No worries. Believe that. I'm simply saying your testimony has been in June. They, a, a random stranger flags you down and you provide him with powder cocaine, yes? Believe it. Okay, and also, in, well, here's the thing. You We're say not believe. just going to repeat everything you said twice, Mr. Sankin. Yeah, you seem trying to paint that picture, buddy. Oh, right stop. No, be quiet. It'll ask you a new question. Give me a second, Your Honor. You bet. <coughs> Mr. Nobles, were you on probation when you spoke to the police? Shit, I don't recall. I don't, I don't know. Have you been on probation recently? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you violated your probation, now you're a convicted felon? I guess. That's what you want to call it. Well, I'm asking you, sir. Uh, I don't know. Well, you, you were you were on probation and you violated your probation, correct? Yeah. As a result of the violation, did your withhold become a conviction? I don't know. Judge, uh, no no further questions, and I reserve the right to recall Mr. Noble. Thank you, Thank you, Your Honor. Mr. Nobles, during the direct examination by Ms. Kaplman, you were asked a question. You said something about a girl, that the, the two guys in the room were talking to a girl because they, correct me if I'm wrong, they, they wanted help from the girl, right? They wanted help from the girl. So, I'm talking about the girl that I brought with me, right? No, no, no. We're talking about you said that you were in the hotel room or the motel room and that the guys that you were in the room with were on the phone with somebody that they needed help with a car, that they were talking to some girl. You remember that? You they said, said something about the vehicle. They said she. I don't know what the conversation was about, but they were like, she can come get the car or something like that. That's what I heard. Okay. Overheard. There was no want- conversation on the phone, nothing like that. She was like on my way out and they were like, ah, she can come with da, 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 some shit like that. I just wanted to make sure you knew what topic I was talking yeah, about. Yeah, I know what you're talking about now. You don't know who she is. No. And what they were saying was, well, we need her to come here now to help. Oh, she can, company. yeah, come get that, or the car, or whatever. All right, which yeah. would indicate somebody that's local, not somebody that's uh, in another state. Uh, hey. Hey. You don't know. I guess it's good as mine. <laughs> you don't know. Fair agreement? I don't know. Next topic, and I'm not, I'm not trying to put you on the spot here or blow you up. 
the cocaine. Oh man, here we go. This <laughs> All right. So you're saying that a gentleman asks you to go get cocaine, right? You take some money. You uh, go in. Grab it. Pick up. Yeah. You know where to. Hear me out to know where I'm going here. You know where to get it from is what you said, right? Yeah. You know people that are in the drug game. I, I just know where to go get it from. You know where to go get it. Yeah. You've been around cocaine before. I'm not saying you're dealing it. I'm not saying you're using it. You've been around. I it. just know what it was talking about when you said cocaine. You know what's a big amount, what's a small amount? Nah. I don't know anything about that. <laughs> okay. I'm going to give you some dates here. January of 2016, you get taken to the Tallahassee Police Department, and they talk to you about this case. Yeah. A very short time later, you're arrested for two felonies here in Tallahassee, right? Short time, like when? Years later. Dealing in stolen years, property? Years later. Are you sure? That was years. Do you remember when you were arrested? Yeah, I was arrested. And it was 2016? Was it? Yeah, yes it was, yeah. Do you not remember? Would it help your memory if I showed you the online court docket? Yeah, I remember. You do remember? Yeah. Okay, so we have yeah. January of 2016, you meet with the investigators and the agents on this case. A very short time later, in 2016, you're then arrested on some felonies, and then you're put onto probation, right? Okay, yeah. And at one point in time, you appear before His Honor, Judge Hankinson, on your case, right? Bye, to your guess is mine. Don't remember? You're put on to probation. I just know I was going to pay probation. All right, you're put on to probation, and then you violate probation, right? Yeah. And then they, they, re they revoked your probation. You're no longer on probation. No. And now you're here testifying for the government. Yeah, I guess. Revoke your probation. I don't understand what you're saying, buddy. You, you admittedly, now, not saying that you're a drug dealer. I did 30 days and got off probation. I said, give me time. So there's nothing extra behind it. And back to the cocaine. I know you don't like the topic. <laughs> but you'll agree with me that you at least possessed cocaine. The guy asked you, gave you some money. You went to wherever you went to. You picked it up. You took possession of it. You possessing it would be a crime, right? I don't know. That's but they're what you not. Call it. That's what you call it. But they're not prosecuting you for that. I don't know. You're a witness for them, so you get a pass on that. I don't know. I don't know anything about that, buddy. I don't think anything further, Your Honor. If I can have one second to confer. It's kind of crazy. Nothing further, Your Honor. Thank you. Free direct. enforcement came to speak to you that was a long time after the actual I mean not like maybe two years after you sold the cocaine to these guys right, right. okay so you there wasn't any actual cocaine to charge you with was right there? no further questions appreciate you that you sure have a question at this witness all right you can step down we need to keep them any further <coughs> what's that all right, you're excused. Go about your business. Call your next witness. Let's go to Snyder Park for a minute. Okay.